We, we're always talking about this word fitna, fitna, fitna. Of course, there will always be fitna. Allah has said there is fitna. Your children are a fitna. Your families are a fitna. Your wealth is a fitna. What's a fitna? The word fitna originally means, well, the word fatna originally means to burn something like metals to check whether it's genuine gold and silver or not. So they would melt gold and silver to check whether it's genuine gold or silver. So severe and intense heating and burning to test. That's the original meaning of fatn, to burn and in order to test, to melt in order to test, to see whether it's genuine or fake. That's the original meaning of fatn. So, and then the meaning developed to, to any trial or tribulation, any test or any temptation, which places a person in a position where they have to decide and make a choice. And their choice, their decision, will either be a good one or a bad one. It will test their faith. It will test their integrity, their sincerity. Do they pass the test or not? Do they succumb to the temptation? Or do they resist it and spurn it? Do they, are, are they proven true in that trial and tribulation under the heat of the test or not? Do they prove to be sincere or insincere? That's the meaning of fitna. So anything which becomes a fitna, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tests us through our wealth, through our wives, spouses, our children, our neighbours our community, everything. All of this is a fitna. So we're always talking about fitna, fitna. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has promised us, foretold us, that you will see fitnas, one after the other. The plural of fitna is fitn. You will see fitn, one after the other, in rapid succession. Each subsequent one, will be more testing, more darker than the previous one. In fact, in one hadith he says, fitan will come in such a way that the subsequent ones will make thin and dilute the previous ones. I.e., a fitna will come and a person will think, this is going to destroy me. This one is going to destroy me. And then they somehow scrape through. So another one comes. And that subsequent fitna is so great that the believer thinks that, do you know what? This is the one that will destroy me. And in comparison to this one, the previous ones were nothing. And then he manages to scrape through that until another fitna comes, which is even greater. And that one makes thin and dilutes the previous ones. So Rasulullah has already foretold that this will happen.